This week, many of us watched a video that has gone viral online of a young Navy Lieutenant JG. I have a lot of problems with this video. This non-binary officer said the highlight of a deployment on the USS Gerald Ford was reading a poem to the entire ship. Admiral Gilday, have you seen this video? I have. I hope we train our officers to prioritize their sailors, not themselves. Did it surprise you that a junior officer says the highlight of her deployment, her first and the ship's first, was about herself and her own achievement? I, I'll tell you why um, I'm particularly proud of this sailor. So her grandfather um, served during World War II, and he was gay, and he was ostracized in the very institution that she not only joined and is proud to be a part of, but she volunteered to deploy on Ford, and she'll likely de deploy again next month when Ford goes back to sea. Sir, um, we ask people from all over the country, from all walks of life, from all different backgrounds to join us, and then it's the job of a commanding officer to build a cohesive warfighting team that is gonna follow the law, and the law requires that we be able to conduct prompt, sustained operations at sea. And so we have to, our, that level of trust that a commanding officer develops across that unit has to be grounded on dignity and respect. And so uh, if that officer can lawfully join the United States Navy, is willing to serve and willing to take the same oath that you and I took to, to put their life on the line, then I'm proud to serve aside them. Admiral, I agree with that. And I don't care who you are, as long as you join our military to fight for the freedom of our country and protect our country. Uh, the problem that I'm having is the, the obsession with race, gender, sex. It's focused on self. It's not focused on team. And if we don't start building team, we have no chance to win individually in this country. We have no chance. Everybody else is building. Uh, and to do a poem with all the 8,000 other people on this ship and to focus on herself. Now, and, and don't get me wrong, her uncle or whoever that fought, hey, my dad died in the military, okay? I'm all for that, but I'm all for building a machine. We don't, our recruiting is suffering. We don't need to have another Bud Light moment. I mean, we don't need to have a Bud Light moment in the Navy. I mean, we have to build a killing and fighting machine. And, you know, it just, it concerns me that we do all these things and we focus on one thing, one person. We're all Americans. That's what we are. And I hope with, as admirals and generals and people, secretaries, that we start pushing Americans first. Not a gender, not a race, not nationality. We all got to come together. If we don't, we have zero chance because this is not the country we used to have. This is not the military we used to have. And we've got to get out of that rut of saying we are Individuals, we're not individuals. We are the best country on the face of the earth and the best military, the United States of America.